So Michael, we are now finally on the on the field of Scandinavian quinoa. Yes. How many acres do we have? Uh, so it's uh, 16 hectares in this field with uh, two different varieties. There's some that are more red in the background and these more yellow green in the front. Uh, they look really different, but uh, this one is growing like a monster. And it's more than one meter point? Yeah, uh, some of them here is one and a half, 160 high. And last year we made a lab test in Sweden of the quinoa of, to, to find out the protein level and it's 15.8 percent yeah and that's fantastic yes uh, th with this summer with low rain and uh, i think it will be higher this year uh, if it's raining a lot then uh, the protein uh, will go a little bit down and this year as you know in sweden it's been very very hot and same in denmark yeah, yeah, yeah. and basically no rain whatsoever in yeah, denmark yeah, either yeah, yeah. And how does that influence the quinoa? It looks like the quinoa can handle uh, high temperature and no rain. We have had uh, 17 uh, millimeters rain in, uh, in May, 11 in June and half a millimeter in uh, July. So although the dry period is rough, you have not been watering at all? No water, no uh, uh, water at all. It's standing on good land, uh, heavy, heavy land, and uh, but we seeded really, uh, really late because the spring was late. It's seeded the 28th of April, and uh, it was on normal farming a little bit too early because the land was too wet on that time. Right, <coughs> and the harvest will be like in a week or two, right? Uh, Ten, yeah, 10 days I think we cut them and then we dry them and then we come with the combine. So the, the unique thing about Scandinavian quinoa, it's number one grown in Scandinavia and number two it's organic. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a field I took over for five years ago and uh, I changed it to organic and then I grow my, my special crops and uh, now, now the land starts working normal. So for how long have you been working with organic farming? Since 1998. And I know when I get new land from normal wheat and uh, barley growers, then the first years it's not working for me. Right. And I mean, if you look, consider the climate change with hot temperature warmer climate the draft it seems that the quinoa i mean it's a plant-based protein and it copes with basically no water so it's it could be like solving future problems with protein deficiencies and food problems the only thing that is important is uh, when we seed the crop then it needs some uh, water to start growing all right so when you plant the seeds yeah. then you need to water it yes and that's around April, right? Yes, but we, we never give any uh, water. We, we wait for the right time. We seed the seed when the, the humility in the land is right, and then we go. Ah, it's fantastic. We are so happy to be here now before harvest.